Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying that I'm so excited, but I am absolutely excited to be filming an introduction to a new project that I'll be introducing in 2022, and it is the Partners in Cream Project Pan. So if you want to hear more about this project and also all of the products that I'll be introducing into this project, then just keep on watching. So this project, uh, Partners in Cream, it was introduced by Steph and Delin. I will leave their YouTube channels uh, linked down below. And basically the whole gist of the project is to use cream products only. So anything goes, whether it's skincare, hair care, nail care, whatever, as long as it is not a powder which is so exciting because as you know cream products have been all the rave all the rage nowadays so and they do expire a lot quicker than powder products so we do want to work on them more like regularly and more often and just use them up you know as as before before the heat start to expire is what i'm wanting to say uh so uh that's the main rule no powders and uh, in this particular project you can work between three to six products i have chosen four products to work on and uh for now i have the the goal to actually use them up but I think in the future I will have a, a variety between using up and a, and a usage goal for myself as well. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the products. So the first product that I want to use up in this project is this. This is the Elamasca Hydro Veil uh, Rehydrating Gel. So it basically it is a primer. I have used this before and I absolutely love this this is a mini so you know not gonna take too long but i do want to introduce products that i know that i will be able to finish and you know not 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 make it very daunting but basically it is a clear gel that looks like this and it is an absolutely beautiful base i have to admit uh so yeah I keep dropping things and I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit nervous introducing this project. I don't know why. Maybe because it's like my first time doing this project or whatever it is, uh, but I'm just a little bit nervous. Anyway, my goal will be to use this one up and I already have a little bit of work done on this uh, product, not too much. I've used it twice uh, before introducing it to this project and yeah i really love it but i do want to use it because i have way too many primers for myself <laughs> then i another product that i want to use up is a lipstick and this is the bourgeois uh, rouge velvet lipstick in the shade 02 now this is a very old lipstick i received this lipstick in a goodie bag it was like a gift with purchase whatever thing when bourgeois was still available in ireland and this is how much i have so i do not have much left and i would love to have another lipstick out of my collection because last year i panned the wet and wild wear it all lipstick and although it was a whole ordeal i really enjoyed using that and i really enjoyed um panning it so I think it will be the same case with this. So my goal will be to use this uh, product up and yeah, it's just going to be another lipstick out of my collection, which is super exciting, always exciting. Another product is not a makeup product, but it is a product that appeared in a project before and it was in my skincare project pan. I stopped doing that because honestly, it just wasn't giving me any joy, uh, but I want to reintroduce this Product. and this is the Mitchell and Peach Flora number no. one fine edition eau de parfum and I do not have much left this is how much I have I have marked it here but oh my god I I do not like the smell this is a very herbal tea like sort of scent and you know it's not a scent that I would wear out so that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult because I am only going to be wearing it while I'm at home. But like I said, I do not have much left. I anticipate that this is going to take me two months to finish off 
that's okay like i said my goal is to finish it off uh that's okay i hope eventually this will be out and gone because yeah just not enjoying that anymore or ever and then the last product that i'm introducing is this this is the catrice rock couture liquid liner um i was actually supposed to introduce another product it was a liquid glitter but i have used it the past couple of days and actually i can't get any significant amount out and when i apply it on my eyes it actually starts to uh fall down and just not stick so you know i guess that's an empty for 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 my makeup empties for 2022 but instead of that i decided to roll this one in so basically it is just a um rose gold liquid liner it has the uh, a brush applicator and i can use it as a liner or also i can use it as a glitter on top of my eyeshadow um i do not have much of it left as you can see the windows there this will be my starting point right there and hopefully i will be able to use that up within the first quarter of the year that would be amazing uh fingers crossed that this will work but uh yeah these are all of my six products i will be updating this project monthly so that you can uh join me on this journey uh, if you want to join this project yourself don't hesitate to contact steph or the lynn they're very helpful they're very quick to reply uh so and you can join at any time to be honest the updates for this go up on the 10th of each month but yeah i am so excited for this project because i didn't ever have a just a cream sort of project to work on just like cream products themselves without any powders and it just seems so exciting uh but yeah that is actually it for today's video uh if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye